friends, wherever you are in the world, greetings from Holland. I bless you today with God's peace and his joy and his presence in your life. We are reading Psalm 51 today and it's a Psalm of David. He wrote it after he committed adultery and he felt guilty. He felt ashamed. He was struggling with himself. And what I actually like about that is that he picked up his pen and he wrote down a song. He poured out his heart. He was honest to God. I should add after the prophet Nathan came to visit him and confronted him with his sin. But he, he did not keep silent. He spoke out. He emptied his heart. And I think... When you read through this psalm today, try to identify with him. Maybe you have not committed adultery, I hope not. But maybe you did something else that, that makes you feel guilty or ashamed or that gives you an un, a feeling of unease. Pour out your heart like David did. Pour out your heart to God. Just tell him whatever is bothering you. It, it will bring such a relief. It will bring such a, a joy when you finally do that. And you will be able to speak with David and say, Create in me a clean heart, O oh God. And renew a loyal spirit within me. That's a good prayer. <clears throat> I love it. And then he says, Restore to me the joy of your salvation and make me willing to obey you. That's a good prayer. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. The fact that God loves us, the fact that God has forgiven us totally, that we do not have to walk around with sin or with guilt or with fear or shame or whatever the case is. God has forgiven us through Jesus Christ and we can be free to praise him. We can be free to enjoy every day with him. So if there's anything bothering you today, speak it out. Speak it out. Confess it, say it to God, maybe even write a song, whatever you do, but get it out and you will be able to enjoy his forgiveness and salvation. That's my prayer for you today. So see you tomorrow. Bye.